Hey everyone, you know me, Ted Santos, Straight Talk, the talk show made for men by men. <clears throat> and I love doing these politically incorrect topics about social issues, relationships, and this is going to be really kind of a combination of the two. And I'm, I am, well, I, I started thinking about this topic and I thought I was going to do a really, really short video and I could just like sort of lay out my thoughts. And when I really started thinking about it and writing it down, <clears throat> this is a much bigger topic than I, I initially imagined. So w what I'm going to do is give you a, a good piece of it. And I'm going to put the rest of it. I have a longer version that I put in Patreon. So if you are in my Patreon community, you'll be able to see this entire video and um, you'll be able to comment on everything. But in the meantime, you can like this one, share it. I'd like to hear your comments. If you think I'm crazy, want to hear why. So <clears throat> you see the title, Were Women Made to Pursue Men? Do We Really Have It All Backwards? And there are several, several ways to view this discussion. And because of the ways men and women have been programmed over the past several decades, many might even be repulsed by what I'm about to say. What I'm about to say is in the twilight zone, right? <laughs> Some of you may think that. Needless to say, it's a huge topic. And a lot of men will ignore this because they already took the bite out of the apple that Eve brought to them, <clears throat> right? So we know the story of Adam and Eve in uh, the proverbial apple. A, a lot of men have, they, they took the bite, right? So they're now walking around with the apple and whatever the repercussions are. And a big reason a lot of guys will ignore this is because you're more worried about what women will think of you. And that's why things are so messy in our society, especially in the U.S. Instead of men being men and leading, you're worrying about the ever-changing emotions of women. Women told you it is your job to have a feminine side. Poof, what did you do? Now most women flock to men who have no feminine side whatsoever. So you bit the apple and, are, and allowed the roles to be reversed. And now you're upset with the guy who has no feminine side because women are running to them. You're upset with him. He's done nothing wrong. So, so this is going to be an important message that I get across to you. <clears throat> so you'll really want to share this video, especially with young people. Uh, essentially, men are going to have to undo what has been done. And that also means you'll have to unthink what you've been taught to think. And that requires a tremendous amount of unlearning. And unlearning requires really reverse engineering. How do we get here? So that's part of what this uh, video is going to be about, is understanding the little hidden subtleties of how men have gotten here and, and what men traded for like what they gave up without even realizing they gave it up. And when you understand what you gave up, it's kind of insane that men gave that up to follow women's instructions. So, um, <clears throat> and, and if you actually think psychologists and sociologists are going to make the appropriate changes in society, I, that's that may never happen because many of those positions are held by women. So if women are Eve and they just want you to bite the apple and take you down some dead end path or down the rabbit hole, right, where there's no cheese down that tunnel. Why should the psychologists and sociologists help to change it? They have an interest in keeping status quo. And even though it's not working, what women do is kind of wash, rinse, repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat. They just do the same thing, the same system that they were given. <clears throat> they keep doing the same things without ever thinking whether this is working or not. They just wash, rinse, repeat. And women don't create things. They don't. We're told this lie that women are creators. No, they're not. Men create 
All the industries, all the civilizations have all been created by men, not women. Men are the creators. We have life. Women don't create life. We plant life into them. So no civilization, to my knowledge, that was successful was built by women. And if you and it's not just humans. <clears throat> First, I'll say just watch nature. No male animal hunts for his mate. To my knowledge, it's unnatural. So just look at lions. When a male lion takes over a pride, he comes in, he fights the other lion, he kicks him out. You see how nature works. The new alpha kills all the cubs. And then the females all make themselves sexually available to him. And the male, this new alpha, he comes in and he only wants the female. And even though he just killed her cubs, she assumes the position and makes herself sexually available. And she doesn't even play games. That alpha female does not play games. She assumes that position. If you look at other animals, look at... A, a, there are some male birds that build a nest to attract the female. Uh, there are big cats that will secrete a fluid that <clears throat> attracts females. Uh, bears, will, grizzly bear will do it. Um, deer, during mating season, they know exactly uh, what chemicals to secrete and they mark their territory for women to come. In fact, during that time, the male deer is so focused on the women coming, female coming into his territory that he can be easily killed. So you can't hunt male deer during hunting season. But if you notice, there's a pattern. In the, male animals in the animal world do the same as men. Men get jobs, they get muscles, they buy the car, they buy the house, clothes, investments. Men do all these things the same way the male does it in nature. And what happens in nature? The female pursues the male. She goes into his territory and makes herself accessible. Why did men, why as humans have we stopped doing that? But maybe we haven't, because if if I if you fill up a room with kind of the average people, average income, even slightly above average. And then you bring in just one man who's affluent, who has access to many resources. You watch women get into the hunting mode and they actually compete with one another for that one man. And they have no shame in that. You have females who are groupies. You don't hear about male groupies wanting to chase uh, in huge number, I want Beyonce. I want they. They've always been attractive females, but you don't see men chasing them down. You see women going to basketball games looking for a husband. You don't see men going to the WNBA looking for a, a, a wife who's an athlete. They're not going there, and, and you don't see those numbers. Women, the female goes to the male's territory, makes herself available. That is the way nature planned it. And even when women get dressed up to go out, you, I did a show just yesterday, and we talked about how women do not dress for men. They dress to compete and invalidate other women. <clears throat> they just want to one-up women. That's what that's really about. Sorry, guys, it's not about you. If it was, if it were about you, then when you marry her or even live with her, she would be getting dressed up and getting her hair done just to be around the house with you. You know, whatever makeup and the sexy clothing and the perfume, she would do that just to spend time with you. But she doesn't. Take her somewhere nice and you see she puts it on and she may tell you, well, I'm doing this for you, but no. She's doing that so you don't look at other women. She's doing that to one-up all the other women in a place. Yeah, and I know you guys, you really love your wife and you believe she's doing it for you. But she's not. Now, if you have the rare woman where she does that at home just for you, 
I want to hear from you, man. You need. I, I want to hear from you. I want you to call in my in, a, in on my show so you can talk to guys about how you uh, how you made that happen, and maybe you follow what I have here. So, uh, women dress to compete, and let's see. So, <clears throat> when men compete, they compete like <clears throat> male animals in the kingdom. They mark, they have their territory. They build their nest. So men build a civilization. They build a nest. Men build something for women to come to. And part of building that nest, the components of that nest will look like uh, they get an education, they have a profession, they have a car, they have clothes. Uh, and they do all these things to invest the kind of woman they want. And what, we, what we're getting is that women are attempting to play that role themselves. And they think it's going to attract men. And it really goes against nature. So as a side, um, women who buy these expensive purses and believe that it attracts a man because it shows what kind of socioeconomic class they're in. And a lot of these women, uh, they may make seventy eighty thousand dollars and they have a hundred thousand dollar worth of purses in their closet all you're doing is showing how irresponsible you are with money and, and in the end you end up turning the guy off because no man wants to marry a woman who doesn't know how to uh, manage money you're a bad investment men on the other hand will invest their money do men waste money they buy all these air jordans sure now, and I would wonder statistically how many of those men grew up with a single mother. Um, men are more likely to buy businesses, stocks, real estate, classic cars, coins, stamps, playing cards. There are all kinds of things that men invest in that increases their asset, their value, their assets. You know, their balance sheet is uh, more valuable because of these investments. And you know, just looking at companies. You know, there are more men who buy businesses. You know, franchises are a little easier because it has a proven model. When you talk about just buying a business outright, just going to someone and offering money, buying the business, taking it over and running it yourself. Women are less likely to do that, do that because that's more complex and way more risky. But guys are more, way more likely to do that. So that's part of a man's nest. I'm buying companies. I'm buying this one company and I'll sell it off at a higher price down the line. Or I'll use it as my nest egg or pass it on to my children. These things happen. Women, on the other hand, are consumers. Yeah, like 77% of consumer purchases are, are done by women. Yep, the whole advertising industry knows that and they set women up nicely for that. A man's investment, instead of being a consumer, he's creating a comfortable nest for a woman. And if she has a consumer mindset, all the purses, all the clothes, and you know, has to keep up with everyone, uh, there's a good chance she could destroy his nest. So with that said, Men can also destroy their nest by hunting for women. In the animal kingdom, and, and humans are animals, they are mammals, all mammals are animals. <clears throat> Males hunt for food, things that sustain them, food, sustenance, nutrients. That's what they hunt for. They claw and scratch to make sure they have strong, powerful bodies. And when they do want, so they can have the mate of their choice and have children who actually survive because they also inherit those strong, powerful genes. If a man spends all of his time hunting for a woman, there's a good chance he can go broke. So as the saying goes, you can go broke hunting for women or chasing women, but you're unlikely to go broke chasing opportunity, money, uh, 
accomplishment. And you'll have plenty of women when you do chase that because you build that nest they want to be part of. Um, just, uh, yeah, I'm going to. So, essentially, men have allowed roles to be reversed. And if you watch, if you're paying attention over the decades, the longer the roles are reversed, the lazier women are becoming. And men have actually accepted the laziness of women. And once, once men accepted the laziness of women, women began to make new rules. They tell men that you have to have game if you want me, right? And guys believe that. Oh, I got to have game. That's what she said. Uh, that's a woman's idea of what it means to pursue a woman. That's a woman telling a man how to be a man for a woman. She can't tell you that. And basically, having game is only about making the woman feel good. You, you say all these things and you're clever. That's just her wanting you to make her feel good. And like I said, she's getting dressed up. It's not for you. It's to compete with other women. So stop complimenting her for something she didn't even... That's not even for you. And besides, her body, well, she got that from her parents and her clothes. Well, someone made that. So, And the fact that she has a nice body and wears nice clothes has no... It has no bearing on whether or not, or whether or not she's a valuable person at all. Sometimes it could be that she's not valuable. That's why she has to put so much focus on that. So, it's women who have told men that they have to have game and be hunters. Men bought the idea completely. And now the funny thing is, women, men not only bought the idea of what women told them it means to be a man, they actually brag about it. They brag about having something women told them to have. Like, how does that work? It's like women use reverse psychology to get men to feel good about doing her job. So I'll, I'll kind of leave you with this. Imagine you work at a company and they run that same reverse psychology. They pump you up, man, you got game, you the man, blah, blah, blah. They tell you all that stuff. Only to get you to do their job. And while you are doing their job, they're kind of sitting back getting lazy and laughing at you. And you can say, well, I'm developing all the skills. <clears throat> well, you still have to do your job. And they're getting paid to do their job that, that you are actually doing. Like, think about that. That's basically what women have done. They got you to do their job in, in the relationship, pre-relationship. And a lot of guys don't even question this. It's not natural to hunt for sex. You just don't see it. Yet, women have told you that's what you're supposed to do. Now, I've got a lot more to, to say about this and um, some solutions and, and some things that I think men are missing that are kind of obvious when you say it, except men are not saying these things to women. So, if you're not in my page, if you haven't, if you're not part of my Patreon community, you can find me at Ted Santos and Patreon. You know how I look, you'll see my picture. And listen to the rest of this video and you'll find a number of other videos that I haven't posted anywhere dealing with relationship, even business. <clears throat> I'll put a few more business um, videos up there and some of them are, are much shorter than this one, <clears throat> but packed with a lot of value. So like this video, share it, comment. If you don't like it, I want to hear why. If you think I'm crazy, tell me why I'm crazy. If you think I'm copping out, let's hear it. But I'm saying men have been tricked in so many different ways. And I lay that out in the rest of the video. But it's so many different ways that they've kind of resigned and just accepted. So share the video. 
Join me on Sundays for Straight Talks. I'll be back to you soon with uh, another live stream and some more videos. Thanks for the support, everyone. Talk to you later. Bye.